hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i have a story time for you guys about the time i was caught on the train without a train ticket <sighs> <laughs> So this happened while I was studying here in Germany. It probably was my second or was halfway through my program. So I was pretty much aware of how things work. Um, so as I said in previous videos, um, my student ID that I would have gotten when I registered um, allowed me to travel within my Bundesland. What is the English word for Bundesland? Ay, ay, ay. State. It allowed me to travel within my state using only the regional transportation, um, which are the, basically the local trains, none of the long distance trains um, and buses, of course, um, for free. Um, but I remember us getting an email saying that it, they also extended it to the IC, which is intercity, which is kind of like long distance, but crappy, um, for a part of the journey connecting Weimar. And I just remember that the city, the last city that you could go to is G. And at the time, I thought it was Gera. This is important to the story. Gera. So... I was at the time doing a small job in Gera and I was coming back from it and you know I had my my Tosca my student ID so life is good as I said in my video before which I just put on the side once you have your Tosca you don't need anything else like you don't need wallet nothing like your Tosca is life but I'm pause there because it's really important for you to know exactly how the ticket purchasing happens in Germany so once you get to the train station or even before you get to the train station you can buy the tickets online um, and then upload them to your phone or get a PDF sent to your email or you can do it directly on the app or for those of you who don't have a smartphone at all you can go directly to your train station and you put it in this little machine where you are where you want to go um, and they'll print the ticket for you I, of course, don't need a ticket because I have my student ID, so I don't need any ticket, or so I thought. So, you go on the train, and because there is no place to um, scan your ticket ahead of time before you get on the train, it's really your responsibility to buy a ticket before you get on the train. So, I'm on the train with my student ID. I don't need no ticket. I'm uncertain. I am sitting down enjoying myself. And the conductor comes to you they come to check tickets now i very confidently give him my student's id and he was just not even give i just flash like usually you just have to flash it to them because there's a thing at the bottom that they could read like the um the duration and stuff and he looks at us and he looks at me and he's like but you're not supposed to be on this train y'all i had a moment and i was like wait so we got an email saying that we can take those IC trains between so and so and so and so dates, whatever, whatever. He's like, I never heard of that. My boomsy just <laughs> I'm like, okay, maybe you didn't hear about it, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So he started calling around and whatever. And at the same time, I'm like looking through my phone, I'm Googling, I'm doing all kinds of things, searching for keywords in my email because of course thousands of emails and I'm just like I have to find I have to find this thing yo I didn't find anything so he's like here's what we're going to do I'm like no there is an email I promise I'm like if I did know I would have bought a ticket at this point y'all I'm almost on the verge of tears <laughs> but um he's like listen you have to pay the fine because I never heard of that you made it up and I was like okay so I'm like, what if I have a band card, which is this discount card, which I can explain some other time. I'm like, what if I have a band card? He was like, okay, then you can get a small discount off the fine, but you still have to pay the fine. I'm like, all right, fine. 
I'm like, but I still think that you're wrong. Like, I was fighting him down to the end. I'm like, listen, I still think you're wrong. I don't... Listen, right? He's like, if you think I'm wrong, you can make a complaint here, here, and here. You can tell these people that you need a refund because I was wrong and they will do it for you. He was so overconfident and I hate how overconfident he was. But guys, I got home. I found the email and I asked friends also. I had the wrong g name i thought it was gera but it was really another name starting with g i was wrong <laughs> so that was the first and last time i paid a fine for being what they call a schwarz father which in my opinion is kind of racist but anyway um so buy a ticket if you're not sure just buy the ticket because usually the fine costs more than the price of the ticket anyway. Much more. So, but I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> but my lesson, I learned my lesson. Lesson learned. Anyway, that's the end of my story, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.